In this attack, I'd like to highlight uh, Town Hall 8, Ryan. Ryan kicked butt this past war. He got two, uh, two three-star attacks against Town Hall 8s. Um, Ryan's been kicking butt as ta at Town Hall 8, uh, especially what, once he got his hogs up to, to uh, level 4. Um, and as I stated, the difference between Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9 hogging, uh, one is your level of hogs. But if you keep your hogs under healed, um, if you keep them keep them alive, there's uh, there's nothing they're they're, they're going to tear through the max town hall eight defenses. Um, and we saw in the previous video um, how Toby did a Chinese wall, which is a side to side deployment, allowing the defenses to. Uh, be spread on their entry and thus um, gives them a more chance that they're going to spread throughout the base uh, after they take out that those entry defenses. Um, Ryan um, as a Town Hall 8 attacking a Town Hall 8 can get have more leeway. He really doesn't have to focus on Chinese wall uh, or the end game of precision hogging at Town Hall 8, but Town Hall 8 is a great uh, Town Hall to actually start practicing that and try to make precision hogging your end goal. Uh, precision hogging is deploying three to four hogs on all your point defenses. Um, if there are near splash damages, you may want to throw in an extra hog because at Town Hall 8, your max hog level is level 4, and you know, the splash damage still is trouble. Um, so your end game does should be precision hogging, but before you get there, um, Chinese Wall is a great deployment to start imploring. Uh, but in this case, we're going to watch uh, Rob. Rob does a two finger drop, which is great also. Um, like I said, I just don't, I, w I would like to get, if you're using uh, hogs at Town Hall 8, I just want to make the no-no be the conga line. One finger drop, no-no. Just try to get that out of your mind. Um, so let's, let's just watch the attack and we'll see what I'm speaking about. And this, this was actually a follow-up attack um, to a, an attack that I failed at my Town Hall 8. I ran out of time. Um, I was kind of slow with my uh, with my kill, <laughs> CC kill, and we're going to discuss a few of those methods also in some uh, future videos. Um, you don't want to spend too much time killing the clan, luring and killing the clan castle. There are several efficient methods to use, especially since most people use the same. Uh, clan castle troops in the clan castle. So he does did a two finger drop, so it kind of makes his pathing predictable for him. You know, thus an easier uh, way to you know place his heels. He's already taken out two splash damages, which is uh, critical for it. And then the third goes in that area of the splash damage. Um, since the hogs have good health already from the first two hills. Taking out these archer towers is not an issue with that amount of hogs. And look how many hogs he has left. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he lost uh, a bunch of wizards to some outside bombs. So keep that in mind. Um, when deploying, when doing hogs at Town Hall 8, have more confidence in it, knowing that if you keep those hogs alive, if you deploy them, and uh, Chinese wall or if you deploy them in two to three finger drops it, it's it's going to be a lot easier for you to heal them and keep them alive Town Hall 8 bases are only so so uh, wide um, because of the amount of hogs I mean uh, walls that you're allowed to have at Town Hall 8 but great attack Ryan and a great learning moment for us